All right, so now we actually have a little bit to discuss today. We've got news on the Mongoose bike, and I'm also going to be discussing what I'm going to be doing in today's video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what's going to be happening in today's video? Well, as you guys can currently see, the Mongoose bike is currently gone. We actually took the Mongoose bike to Mojo's Bike Shop because what they're actually going to be doing is they're actually going to be fixing up the bike. Like, I'm talking about fully stripping it out and fully rebuilding the whole entire bike to pretty much make it a whole brand new bike. I am currently filming that video as well. That video will probably be up sometime, maybe next week or so, so you guys can stay tuned in for that. But what's going to be happening in today's video? So, back here, we got my Schwinn all comp. We're, what we're going to actually be doing today is we're actually going to be cleaning up the bike. You guys know I put a lot of stickers on that bike. I'm going to be fully stripping out all the stickers, washing the bike up, and also touching this bike up as well to hopefully make it look brand new before eventually we take the Schwinn to Mojo's as well. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. But before we begin, let's go ahead and talk about one thing. You guys are always asking me, why have you guys stopped filming videos with all of the cars? And that's a pretty much a really good explanation because we just haven't really been doing much with the cars lately. So don't worry guys, um, I'm not just going to be filming videos by my bike. My, my channel is not no longer just a bike channel. It's, it's still a car channel. We just have not really been doing much with the cars lately. So you guys can just stay tuned. There will hopefully be some videos about about the cars coming sometime up in the near future so you guys just got to stay tuned in for that all right guys i think we're now ready to go ahead and start cleaning up the schwinn all comp so i already got everything i met pos i might possibly need as you guys can see i got the dawn soap sp or spray and also got the rag so without further ado guys let's go in and get the diamond back and start cleaning but in order for me to clean the schwinn i have to move the schwinn from right there to there so All right, guys, as you guys can currently see, I moved my Schwinn, I turned it upside down, and I think it's ready to be washed. So without further ado, guys, let's go and start washing the Schwinn. But how exactly am I going to be washing the Schwinn? So I'm going to be separating it by three, by three parts. Here's what's going to be going on. First part, I'm going to be taking off all these stickers that you guys see right there. Second part is actually washing the bike. As you guys can see, there's a lot of mud all over the place. I'm going to try cleaning it up a little bit. And then the final stage will be touching it up and putting some putting clear coat on it. So I think you guys are going to enjoy this part. I was going to get some good slow, I was going to get some good time lapse shots. I'll be washing the bike. All right, guys. The first side of the bike is finally done. That took me about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm also very glad that the cloud decided to go ahead and cover up the sun because, man, it's like in the no low 90s out here today. It's very, very hot. But now I still got to do a whole second side. Oh my goodness guys, look what just came in the mail. I think I know what this is. I think that is my new tripod. So I can't wait to open it up. So let's go ahead and go take a look. All right guys, I think this is it. My brand new tripod. All right, let's go and take a look. Let's see what's in here. Oh snap. 
Oh, oh snap. What is this? Wait, what is this? What is... Wait, what in the... What in the... Oh my gosh, it comes with the phone mount too. <laughs> Check this out. Comes with a little phone mount. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look what's inside this handy dandy little bag here. And here, it should be... Okay. <laughs> what? Let me get this open. If I can... Yes! Yes! Look at this thing. It's tiny. Even though it is camera, even though it is tiny, well, it's tiny for a bit, but look at this! My new tripod. This is duh hope. Ve really, really dope. You know, I want to go and try to see if I can go and hook this thing up. Let's see if I can try to figure out how to hook this thing. Oh my goodness. If I can look how tall this thing can get. How are you supposed to make this thing get locked in though? It doesn't look like it's going to work very well. Well guys, finally, after about 45 minutes to an hour, all the stickers have been removed from the Schwinn. You guys will not believe how long it has been since I've actually have seen this bike this clean. But now, we are still not done. By the way guys, I'm using my new tri- I was just using my new tripod as the actual, as the actual filming process. And I also got a tripod for my GoPro now, so it's gonna be it's pretty cool. Now, moving on to part number two, where I'm gonna be actually washing the bike with Dawn spray, and then the final part I'll be touching it up. Really, I'll be honest with you, I really don't even think I'll have to touch up anything. I think it's pretty good. So, anyway, guys, let's go and get started with washing the bike. Alright guys, I just finished washing the bike and now just look how shiny it looks. It's an extremely shiny bike. I've not seen it this shiny in a very long time. But now, it'll look even shinier once I put the clear coat onto it. And we're going to do that to move the bike from right there to there. So... All right, guys, now it's time to go ahead and apply the clear coat. What I got here is I got a camera right here, and I got a camera right there. It's going to be filming the other side of me, of me actually applying this, the clear coat to it. So now let's go ahead and apply this clear coat. Alright guys, I just got done applying the clear coat to the bike and now it's looking absolutely awesome. I put the clear coat on it and you guys, I'm, I'm showing up some B-rolls popping up right now and it's absolutely insane. I have not seen this bike this new ever since the day I got it. It's absolutely insane. But anyway, let's go ahead and go put this bike up. Well, all right, guys, I think that's going to have to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. 
turn on post notifications and also leave a like on this video to support me and the channel and also guys I'm currently on the road to 500 subscribers so if you guys can please currently try to help me reach 500 subscribers that would be greatly appreciated and also guys make sure you guys go follow me on my social medias they will all be linked in the description down below anyway guys thank you all so much for watching today's video peace out <laughs>